All right, we've got Kevin Brown behind the wheel of the GSRC Z4, so let's do a lap around Brands Hatch. Right off the bat, we've got the tricky paddock hill bend. The whole thing is blind, and there's this enormous drop that can take the car out from under you if you're not careful. At the bottom of the hill, the car compresses and will catch, but by then you're setting up for the braking in the Druids. This is a potential passing zone if you can get a run on someone, but it's very easy for it to turn into a dive bomb and take both of you out. Once you exit, switch right and get ready for Graham Hill Bend. The braking zone is tricky here with a slight kink, but you can carry a lot of speed and use the runoff to the right to your advantage. From there, it's a short burst along the Cooper Strait into Surtees. This is a critical turn with a very late apex. With this steep incline and a long stretch afterwards, the sooner you can get to the power, the better the lap. But interestingly, even with a good exit, you might not always find a passing opportunity. At the end is Hawthorne, which is a very fast corner. Either you'll need cooperation from your opponent or a lot of guts to make it stick. Now we're into the back section in the woods. First up is Westfield, which requires precision to hit just right. With this being an old school track, there's very little runoff on either side to save you if you mess up. Then there's no time to relax before Dingledale and Sheen, which also tests the driver's accuracy. It'll be single file the whole way through here. Finally, we switch across and use the banking of Sterling to once again ring out every ounce of momentum the tires can take. We'll finally be exiting the trees and setting the car up for Clark, which has another crest at the apex. Get it right, and it's a breeze. A foot off or so, and you'll be spitting out gravel. It's a short lap in modern cars, but no less difficult as we complete a lap at Brands Hatch.